You're making moves for the squad, bro. They hate on me, they wait on me. No, they can't play me, cause I ain't got no time. Got it, got it. They hate on me, they wait on me. No, they, they wait, can't wait. play me, cause I ain't got no time. Shit. Hey, this is Trooper Joe, and I'm here on November 10th at 1000 Watts, over here on 848 Main Street. And I'm coming to you from Facebook Live, of Return to Chivalry. And I got a new call sign, Will will tell me in a minute. And you can hear this again later on on 7navradio.com. I'm here with the lovely um, Melissa Watson. Thank you so much, True. <laughs> Um, my name is Melissa Watson. I own a thousand watts barber shop. I've been in business for like about five years now. I've been giving back to my community about four. I've been in Worcester for about mm -hmm, a long time, should I say? Because I've been in since I was ten, and I'm a little, you know, over the hill, should I say? But I have four boys, four grandkids. I love my community, should I say? You know, like I said, I've been um, doing this for four years at my barber shop, and um, I just like giving back. I like giving, I see the people out there that need help and I, I try to step in as much as possible. See what I could do for them. They need food, they need clothing, whatever they need, I am there. All right, where you hail from originally? Uh, I'm originally from New York. I came from the Bronx and moved over when I was 10 years old. And, and what do you find different between the Bronx and, and Worcester? Well, and able to give back to the uh, people that you so see the love. Well, the Bronx is much faster, or should I say, the New York is much faster than over here in Massachusetts. It's much quieter, so you kind of actually like live in peace and do stuff. Oh, there's so much going on, I feel like I would never go back and live there with my kids. I always said that. It's just too fast for me. I can't do that. Plus, the prices is to live is serious, and those ratchet roots are not working for me. No? No. no lots of ratchet roots? Yeah, I'm all set with that. I'm all <laughs> set with that. You know, I said, I live in Worcester for a long time. I like it, you know. My mom and dad, my my mom and my dad came out here when I was young. Unfortunately, I had to bury my mom and my dad. But you know, I'm still giving back. And that's my main concern. As long as I give back to my kid, it makes me happy. You know, my kids are a little older now in school, but I still like to give back. There's different events that I do give back for. Yeah, I'm gonna ask you about some of these events. You give back to, you give back quite a lot. That's what it, it seems to be. And um, I'm gonna ask if you could tell me a little bit about each of these events that you got down here, especially when starting their free haircuts for um, orphan children, that seems kind of be like a unique type of signature. Let's not say free haircuts, they say <laughs> discount price, because um, okay. you know, my bills ain't free, but I, you know, I go up there, like, I know some people like to bring their kids out, they're in the orphanage, you know, they, they can't take pictures and stuff, so I offered to go to them and cut their hair. So that was pretty good, we cut, I took, I took Keith for me one day, and we did 14 kids in two and a half hours. Basic haircuts, they want, they want to get it crazy because they don't want no designs, no razors, just basic. Give them a lot of Give them a little love, <laughs> give, them some, you know, give them some knowledge while they was there. No, knowledge and knowledge Yeah, that's, they that's, remember that's, me because I'm in a motorcycle club. So they remember driving the bikes, they remember hanging out with the girls, they remember hanging out with the guys. So they already knew a little bit about why I was there. So they, was, you know, they remember, so it was pretty good. It was pretty good. That, that's amazing. Not only do you give them a haircut, but you, you bring the actual sense of love and, and, and did you give them hugs? Yeah, I gave them a little bit. There was a couple of kids that were, you know, acting up, but they're so, you know, it's, they're in an orphanage, you know, so you have to like, yeah, you got to show them. At the end of the day, everybody's still good people. Maybe their parents or whatever they're going through, you know, it was fine. They loved the haircuts. They were, they were, they were happy. Yeah, Very happy. That's a good thing. Now you got toys for tots. That's the Marines toys for tots? No, we don't do that. We do our own toys for tots at oh, Thousand okay. Watts. We collect toys for the boys and girls and at the end of the at the end of the season, like right before Christmas, I just pick out whatever shelter and I just knock on the door and just drop it off to them. Just knock on the door and They don't even know I'm coming. No? Yes, no. So how, how do you how do you get the word out to the people to bring the toys back? I use Facebook. I don't use Facebook to gossip and get in trouble. If I use Facebook for all that crazy stuff, I use it for I use it for my benefit. Ask for donations. Yeah. I use my barbershop, all my clients, I got a lot of good clients that give me a lot of stuff. Whatever I ask for, people give to me. Well, that's great. And you don't, and you do this without any any help from the city? Oh no, I'm getting no help from the city. I already tried that already. <laughs> like so far right now, Joe Early is supposed to um, drop off a donation for my Feed the Homeless. So you know, I, we'll see. I don't want to, I'm not going to 
you know, like tell them you have to. You want to connect awesome to show that this is your city and why are we doing this back for your city? Uh, yeah, that, I agree with that 100%. This is your city. Hear that, folks? This city is yours. And everybody should be out there trying to emulate what this beautiful young lady's doing right, right here in your city and giving back. And giving back, you got another program where you give back clothes and stuff to people during the winter. Right? Winter drivers here is coming, so I usually like collect winter jackets, hats, gloves, scarves, whatever you could think you want to give back to the homeless, the unfortunate. We just call them unfortunate souls that don't have nothing out there. So, you know, winter jackets, I go out there and I see the guys outside asking for money. We give them a jacket, we give them a hat, we give them hats, we give them gloves where they're holding their sign. They need something to hold that <laughs> sign up, so they need to have those gloves on their hands. Because like I said, we have things like that. They're not thinking about that. They're thinking about other things other than taking care themselves. Yeah. Yeah, I would guess it's hard to be homeless. I'm, I don't think I can handle it very well. It's too cold. It's too cold. Some people yeah. can't, some people can't. I think it's all about that pride, okay? You want to do it yourself. Yeah. So, what, you got any future um, programs coming up? Yes. Um, right now, I am feeding the homeless on Sunday. Don't get to it's, that. Oh, well, that's my, that's my future thing I'm doing right now. I really want an all-female team. So I see there's like a thousand barbershops in Main Street. So I'm right next, after I do this little Feed the Homeless, I'm going to try to go out there and try to get some female barbers. Because some of these, I think females have more drive than men. Not to put men down, I love them. I have four of them. I raise them. But I used to like, I want more female barbers. There's a lot of female barbers out there that they could bring into the table. More female barbers. Yeah, we do. We, we like taking hair cut by females to the guy. I know the guys well, are good, do, but his hands, you know, his hands, I mean, you know, we know, we know how a man's supposed to look at the end of the day. Yeah, that, that's why I, I have a female barber, not the kind of come here. <laughs> but okay. I'm coming to the, this Sunday event. I'm like, I, t t uh, it starts at 1. I have a, um, I have a, I'm feeding the homeless on Sunday. It's going to show you when I say I, we are feeding them, because I think there's no I in team. We are feeding the homeless on Sunday from 1 to 5. I've been asking for donations, like I said, God is good. I've been getting a lot of stuff from donate from donations. I use my Facebook for a lot of stuff. I don't use it for just to put my business out there or whatever happens. I ask for people who want to help. It takes a village to help everybody out. You know, I, I spend my own money too, but a lot of people, like I do a lot of good things, so a lot of people like to help me out. Mm -hmm. So I get a lot of donations. We got turkeys, we got mashed potatoes, we got corn, we have cranberries. So everything that is Thanksgiving that we should have, we're going to give back to the people that can't do it for themselves. Okay, and this picture, like, it, I'm trying to paint a picture in my mind of how this is going to take place. So this is outside? I'm going to have it inside my barbershop. You know, I know, I, I, instead of my thousand watts, I'm going to clean my barbershop out, take all the chairs out, and I'm going to set up tables in here. And it's going to be pretty like this, so we'll put a couple of tables outside. We'll have the girls back there serving the people, and the guys socialing with the guys or the women. You know, just vibing with them. Let them get to know their fellow homeless person. Maybe they call Chip and get an apartment. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's cool. So it is inside. So that's it's going to be I'm inside. You know, we're going to try to keep as much as they can. Like I said, they, some of them might want to go outside with their food, so we have to go place. Uh -huh. So they yeah. could, you know, if they want to take it out, they could take it out. But and then we're going to we're going to try to have it in here so they could just eat, relax. I want to make them feel like they're at home. It's going to like a family thing, so they can just enjoy themselves, eat, relax. After you eat, you want to go back out. Just trying to get them to eat so they could they could continue their day. Obviously, they're going to do what they want to do. But I just want to make sure we feed them and keep them comfortable. And make them sandwiches to go. I don't know about saying there's no bread. There's no definitely bread. there's no bread. We got biscuits and stuff. But you know, like I said, it's gonna be like whatever you think for. What would you eat on Thanksgiving? The basic turkey mash, cranberry sauce. We got water. We got pies. Table Talk donated 150 pies to me. Oh, that's nice. You know, I got people. I have 16 turkeys. People donated. We buying. We was getting donation. We have waters. We have over 200 waters. We have 200 to-go plates. Like I said, we have a lot of things, and thank God for my Facebook friends and family in making this possible. That That's great. That's great. That, that's pop. Right here, 1,000 watts, folks, on 848 Main Street, right here in Worcester. If you're homeless or not, right, you can come by and get something to eat on Sunday from 1 to 5, right? Yes. I'm going to, what we're going to do, so I've already been going out and giving people out. For, I'll be giving the, you know, the people that I see flies and let them know what we're doing on Sunday. But that day, I am going to send my seven hood rider guys and they're going to go out there and bring the homeless people back. So they know, come back over here, come eat. They are in the corners, you can't miss them. <laughs> no, you can't. So we're going to go, if you have a son that says you're hungry, then come on. If you're not hungry, don't have the sign. 
Because yeah. I'm gonna pick you up. I'm gonna bring you over if you guys can have a dinner. All right. Now we're gonna talk about these. Um, these, these, this is your group, Ladies of the Hill, right? Mm -hmm. Ladies of the Hill. That's powerful. Yes. Yeah. There's seven hills out here, so you know you ladies are get around, right? Well, yeah. We we pretty much branched <laughs> off of seven of the hills. Um, that I was originally one of the original females of that branch, and I'm getting my own ladies. So ladies. We, do, we do more riding, riding to the community, giving back to our community. It's the same thing, but we just giving back. It's all girls instead of being with the guys. We have an all girl team. Yeah, yeah. But all, right about Mike, we all got sports bikes, baby. So the next time you're gonna see is out there. It's all, it's all, it's all, all ladies. females. All ladies riding around doing, just giving out love. Giving out love. That's powerful. All sexy ladies giving out love, giving back to our community. That's number one. All sexy ladies giving out love and community. I like that. I like that. <laughs> I like that. That that that's powerful and distinguished, sexy ladies. I must add. Yes. Yeah. Yes. You, you know, you just don't be picking up ladies. No, ladies. the ladies we have, like I said, they have to be qualified. You have to ride a bike. You definitely have to ride, have your own bike. You definitely have to have a license, and you have to be, like you said, you have to have a good heart to give back. I don't want you to just come to the to come to our, you know, to our thing and think you just, just want to be down and ride a bike. You have to have a good heart to give back to the community. I'm not, I'm all set. With you. Okay, and you, you guys do a lot of functions and yeah, stuff? Yeah, we do a lot of functions. We do a lot of charity rides. We did the Nazareth ride, gave back to the kids. We do a lot of rides for AIDS, for cancer. There's a lot of, like, people think the bike, the bike organization is not all about that. We do a lot of giving back, as you see. I'm a biker babe. I give back. She's a biker babe. I'm a barber, a biker babe, and a mom. One of my sons just walked in right now. He cuts hair with me. Yeah? Yes. Well, See, my kids, I have all boys, but we're a team. They cut hair. He's going to be the next boss. Spaz, he's going to be the next boss. You see him over there with Bridget and <laughs> Pretty boy. Now, a couple seconds ago, he was posing and everything. Yeah. Now yeah. we put the camera on him, he's just like, hey. You know what I'm saying? I just got in. <laughs> okay. Hold my eyes, you know what I'm saying? Like, come on. Okay. Sounds like you people not only give love on uh, on special occasions, but anytime well, this, anybody wants to come in is, and get something. It's crazy to say that because I have a lot of people that know that I give back to my community. So they'll come in the winter, um, cool down. They'll come the winter in the, and, um, and they'll come the summer. I should stay cool down. Winter time they'll come in and get warm. They'll get water and they walk by and they'll come get water. Like my doors are open. I don't like to hang out too long, come and hang out, just get warm. But this is not like, we're not selling drugs, we're not doing nothing. Right. No, no, just get back some kidney, that's it. I feel like you need something to drink, you have something to drink. Yeah. If I have something clothes in the corner, you need to take them. You listen to some of their stories. Oh, we listen to a lot of stories. Yeah. This is like the serious barbershop we here. Like, I swear, if I could record, I want, that, I, that's what I want to keep to the next. Seriously, we record some things that go on in the barbershop. It's not about we joke and laugh, but we do a lot of good things that come here. I have. We have, like I said, we have um, one of the guys. I know my homeless guy's name. I have Jimmy comes here twice a month for a shave. Oh, okay. So that look good. He, oh, yeah, he, he wants to give us five dollars all the time. Sometimes we don't even take it. I, I, we do the shave. He grabs gives the money. I tell him keep going. <coughs> you know, we don't want it. Just do what you gotta do with it. Sometimes they they like to pay. They like to way. pay. They, they do, but you know, most. I might like, see him tomorrow, and I might give him that five dollars back. <laughs> yeah, you, you know, know he just, might need it then. You know, exactly. But, I just want to, you know. Yeah. I know them all. Like I've been, like I said, I've been doing it for a long time, and I, I'm in this area right now, you know. So I see what I see what's going on. So this is your area. Not my area, but I work here. Okay. So I see what's going on. So I, you know, I know what the people need, and you know, I grew up in a, and I grew up in, in a home that wasn't really love. Not like I say love, but you know, a lot of things going on. So I like to give back. Now, now I don't want to get too political or anything because I know the city's going through a redevelopment type of thing like that. They have, They've approached you in any way to try to help you to I wish get they back? Would. I wish they would approach me and give a sign, but like I said, I'm not asking for help. No. If they wanted to open their doors and help you, hey, I'll take it. But like at the end of the day, I do it for me. So if I want to do something, I get pop up by ID and I'm like, oh, I want to do this. And I'm on it. Okay. And you said Joe Earl is going to come back? He's, I talked to the lady today. I think her name is Jean. I talked to this morning. She called me back. We left Keith left the message. She called back and said, "What up? What up? What up? What else we need? We need turkeys." I said, "Whatever we need, you can bring water, turkey. You can bring whatever you need. Like I'm not being specific at the end of the day. Just anything help. Anything help. Anything help. You want to bring a spoon? Bring a spoon. <laughs> he says he's gonna come and show his face. So, so he do a little walk doing. He could. That'd be nice. If not, yeah. you know, it's, it is what it is. I know he's a busy man. Yeah, but he's busy. 
But you know, like I'm a busy woman. I cut hair, I got kids and grandkids, but I make time. But I take time to help my fellow people. Seems like you take a lot of time to help your fellow people. I think I'm really amazed at the amount of things that you do to to help these people out here, and, and I'm sure they're all appreciative of that. So it's like you got your own little community going on here, you know. Well, I think a lot of people know I am. I did the backpack um, school my first year, and we did 75 backpacks the first year, and then the following year I did 131. Right. This year we did 131 backpacks and two raffle backpacks. So we did 133, but it was awesome. We had free food every year. I do free food. We do a bouncy house, free DJ. I'm, and I, once again, I ask for this from people. You want to donate their time? You want to donate? I come in my pocket. My kids don't go to school anymore. They graduated school. Yeah. But I still do the backpack giveaway. There's other kids that don't have parents that can afford to give their kids backpacks. In the first week, they need that. Oh yeah, yeah. You gotta look good the first week. Yeah, sure. After that, you can, you know, where's your school book? Oh, I forgot. Uh -huh. <laughs> you know? Because mom or dad didn't have enough money to buy the backpack. They don't worry about buying those Jordans because yeah. if you don't look good. You're gonna get bullied in school. Yeah, yeah. School rough. Mm -hmm. School rough now. You ever been asked to come to school and talk to kids or anything? That's another thing. I used to, I just did that last two years. I've been going to Anna Maria College, oh. and I've been talking about my life. All of that, where I've been, came from, what I'm going through, and what I've been doing. So for the last two years, I've been doing that. I've been going, I've been going with my DSS worker. It's funny because, like I said, everybody has a story. I was in the system when I was younger, and me being in the system, I still, I still have contact with my old DSS worker. Oh, okay. And she runs the polls when I go vote and all that, and I go. She pick, she comes in here, and she's like, "Can you come talk about your life and all the success you've been through?" It's not all about. You could have been doing something else, and I do it for the last two years. It's awesome. It's awesome. It's, right. it's sad a little bit because, of course, we're going to shed a little bit of tears, but it's real life stuff. There's no sugar coating it. Well, there's real emotion inside that heart. Huh? Of course it is. Oh, real emotion. Yeah, I didn't come, I, I wasn't born with a silver spoon in my mouth. No? No. It's good because that might hurt. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think it would anyway. That's great. Oh, you're a public speaker, you're a public motivator, you're somebody who has lots of lots of heart and giving and, and you're an entrepreneur of great esteem. And you just seem to be somebody that I would uh, like to say, hey, I know that lady. That's a lady right there. I should run for mayor next, right? Huh? I should run for mayor. <laughs> no, I, actually, you want the truth? Take the presidency? I think hey! that would be nice. I think that would be nice. I need nice. a woman team. I kept saying, LOH, we're going to take yeah. you over. Yeah, I think I'd run for, I'd run for, for the mayor. Well, well, if, if the mayor had, if he had real power, <laughs> then I think you should go for the mayor. Well, you know, I, asked, I didn't go to the mayor's office this year for a donation because I already did that for the back to school event and he never came all donated. So I didn't want to go again. So I figured he did, you know, he's busy, you know. Uh, he's busy. Yeah. Yeah. He didn't think. He didn't see any kind of. I don't. Know, I ain't gonna talk about the man. That's no, he's good people. He's, he's running. Good. He's running he for stuff. Right. He right. running far away. We keep him. We leave him alone. Yeah, he's all right. He got. He got a busy position. Mm -hmm. He got to answer to people. Exactly. Who should be the reverse, but that's something. Else. Well, thank you for for this oh. great interview. Do I, have want, I have something else, else that I did. Tell, I, tell me. I have my. I did my stop the violence march. Oh, I'm know. sorry, yeah. That was almost about two and a half years ago. Mm -hmm. I did a stop to find. There was a lot of stuff going on back then when the kids were killing up kids for no reason. That went pretty awesome. I brought a little bit of peace for a little while, and there haven't been a lot going on no more, thank God. Mm -hmm. There's still stuff going on probably, but I, it wasn't like those two years when I was out there doing this march. The stop for violence, man. Yep, I have, yeah, a, little, I have a little wall of fame over there. Okay, let, let's go over to you. Can we go over to the wall of fame? Just if people want to put me on Facebook, people want to put me on things. I'm not worried about that. Okay. I do because I like good. You know, the man did give me a certificate for the, you know, for the, for the back, for the backpack giveaway. Right. He signed one. You know the senator. So it's good. Yeah. Okay. Senator Moore right here. Mm -hmm. Certificate. Got a certificate for 130 backpacks. And you're going to no, no, license it's a, it's a it. That's that's official. Those, Those ain't fake. Official, yeah. <laughs> I mean, if she can't cut your hair. Yeah, like yeah. I said that we did stop the violence march. Oh, look at you! You know, it was good. It was it was good stuff. Like it was very like it, it was very it was very deep. It was a lot of stuff going on there. Yeah, excellent, excellent. That's from Mr. Chanel. Yeah. Oh, that's from Chantel. Chantel, woman in action. Woman in action. There you go. Yeah, I got that certificate. You know about that. Yeah. One. 
know, but it was good. Like I said, you know, I I don't I try, I don't expect stuff, but I just try. Hit the paper for the backpack giveaway. That was the first year. The first year. Every year, every year it gets bigger and bigger. Uh huh. That's, that's what I good. hope for. That's what I hope for. So next year I'm trying to go for 500 backpacks. Wow, that's got a lot to go. That's two schools, huh? What do you think? Two schools. I would hope so. They, You'd be surprised the people that come here, like. People just say, oh, they only want to come from the valley, they only come from public housing. I had kids come from Holy Name come get back there. Oh, yeah? Yeah. People came from Springfield, Providence. People heard it from the doctor's office. Yeah? Yeah. That's great. So great. I was blessed. Like I said, I'm going to be blessed. So I, I can take it from there. I'm blessed. Were you involved with the uh, Mosaic program that you used to With the BHN? Yeah. Yes, I was involved with the BHN and my man Keith. You know, he's coming here to tell me some stuff about it. Right now, it's we did the basketball tournament with them. Okay. Right now, they're not, I don't think they're in motion anymore. Now, I think they're going through a transitional phase and, and trying to regroup and come back, I think so. No, good luck to um, that. Yeah. You, know, you, give, you give them good luck. Yeah, good luck to that. You know what I'm saying? I'm here, you want to play basketball. I don't want to still open for the team, okay? Yeah. You know, we got future plans for that one, but we'll talk about the next one. All right. Well, folks, I hope you enjoyed being here with this lovely, beautiful lady who, whose time seems to be spread so thin, but yet she has a great, beautiful smile upon her face, and, and she's just she's just ready to do things for other people, and her heart must be as big as that smile. So. Like my son said, I'm a saint. She's a saint. <laughs> she just said, we need more saints. I'm an archangel. Listen, yeah. I try. At the end of the day, I, like I said, I, I try. I did... Everybody says why I do it, you know. I did my ripping and running the street, you know. Mm -hmm. I did all that. I'm all set with that. So right now I like to give back to my community because I know I wasn't an angel when I was young. I was bad. I'm, I give my mom some terror. I give the community some terror. So now it's time for my back to just give back. Yeah. And give back with, with love. love. With love and, and a handful of giving back too, Amen. not just a little thumbnail with it. No, you got to keep anything doing, you keep on doing it. You don't do it, you just be like, all right, I'm awesome. We're at, we're at 1,000 watts on 848 Main Street. And I want everybody to come by Sunday from 1 to 5. Not everybody, no. the homeless. I don't want to see you come out there with your kids, oh, trying to get a free dinner. I understand we got to feed you out. This is for the less unfortunate people. Okay, you hear don't that? Don't come here and you live and you drive the Benz. <laughs> you drop a BMW trying to eat, like, like let's, let's keep it real. This is for the people that are out there that don't have nothing. So if you see somebody out there that doesn't have it and that you're hungry, bring them over here. Don't come over here with your whole tribe trying to eat. No, I get that. I get that. This is for the, this is for the less, less, fortunate. Of, less fortunate people, as it should be. So what about them coming to give love and conversation? That's fine. You want to come here and help. We always want to take other people that want to help. I have a, I have a lot of friends that are going to be helping us. I have, like I said, my 7-H team, my LOH girls. I got my barber shop that's gonna be helping to have four strong young men, you know, and their girlfriends. So you know, we have a lot of people that can help. I want the people to come and also eat, but also conversate with them. Like, yeah. They're still human. At the end of the day, we all human. It can happen to anybody. That's right. They, I know a lot of people in the, the homeless place where I go do my laundry. I like talking to them. Yeah, they you know, stories. they have stories. Like you <laughs> don't know what they've been through. You know what happened. Like I said, I've been through a rough life myself. I could have been homeless. I could have been a prostitute. I could have been a crackhead. You never know. You just some people just need that extra push or that extra love or that extra talk to just to let them know that there's, oh, there's people out there that are willing to help them. Mm. So folks, there's lessons to be learned here. And I want you all to enjoy this video because I've enjoyed doing this with, with has her name right no. here. I'm done with him. I can't, I can't do it. I'm not going to snitch a troop no more. I'm not calling him something else. Troopy. Troopy. <laughs> I don't Melissa do Watson, Melissa. Melissa Watson, 848 means you too. I can do the other part. This, he, I, I just he, he's nervous around. I'm nervous around. I know that. I'm around. So I need a really uh, entrepreneurial great strides. All right. Thank Thanks you. Have a good evening.